And now, Living Well with LDS Hospital. Well, I feel like it's getting cold outside and people are actually starting to get sick already. I'm so excited to be here with Brandon Vonk, who's the LDS Hospital Nurse Administrator. We're talking about four things you need to know about the flu shot. So first of all, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. But I want to know, there's so many misconceptions about the flu shot. Why is that? I just think there's a fear in general with vaccinations and we, we shouldn't be fearful. So I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity that you guys are promoting this. So there's lots of things we can discuss. And so I'm anxious to share whatever we need to know. Well, let's get right into it with the fact that I feel like at my house, we're even already getting sick. Are people supposed to be getting the flu shot already? Why should they be getting it early? Well, according to the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, they're telling us that we need to go ahead and uh, have the vaccination administered as soon as the vaccinations available and it's available now and there's a misconception that you need to wait until winter it's cold outside now okay and you need to go ahead and be thinking about where and when you can get the vaccination because it actually takes uh, two weeks for your body to build up the antibodies so that it's even effective really i thought yeah i thought you get it in your system and it's there that would be nice but that's not the case and so in reality um, the flu season really starts in october and it can last all the way through May, and it peaks in January. So just as soon as you can get the flu vaccination, you should, you should take it. Okay, but we know we should be getting it now then, but who should be getting it? Well, again, according to the CDC, everyone that is six months and older should get the vaccination every year. And there's really very few exceptions to who should be getting that vaccination. And unless, uh, if you have a severe allergy, to the vaccination itself, itself, that's the only reason you should not um, get the vaccination. How would you know that you have that severe allergy? Well, if you're allergic to eggs, for example, you may want to consult with your physician. That's one reason. Or if you've ever um, experienced Guillain-Barre syndrome um, after having the vaccination, this is um, muscle weakness or paralysis. Um, if you've had that type of experience, you should, cons should consult with your physician. And lastly, if you're, if you're presently ill, you may want to put that off for just a little while. And how long? How long after you're feeling better is it okay to go in and get the flu shot? I would say after just a few days. That would be the longest I would delay. So here's a question that I feel like everyone out there is wondering. How much does it cost? That's a very good question. So um, depending on your insurance company or where you go, um, it's usually free because it's preventative. It's preventative health care. But even if you have to pay out of pocket, it's generally between $20 and $40. And there's lots of flu shot clinics available. For example, um, this Saturday at Riverton Hospital, between 9 and 12 noon, um, you, can, you don't even have to get out of your car, Jess. You can yes. just do the drive-through <laughs> flu shot. You can pull right up, they'll administer the flu shot, and then you can be on your way. Now that is um, free for those that have Medicare, Medicaid, or select health. If you want to pay for it out of pocket, it's $39, but I've even got a better option for you. Okay, what is that? On the 17th, next Tuesday, a week from tomorrow, at LDS Hospital, in the lobby, between 6 and 8 p.m., we are offering the flu shot for everyone, regardless of your ability to pay, free. Really? The only catch is, and I just mentioned that the CDC recommends that everyone six months and older get the flu shot. We're only offering this if you're eight years and older. And we're doing this because we're not a pediatric hospital and it, it feels like a torture chamber in our lobby. <laughs> we're just not used to those really, really young kids. So the really younger kids should probably go to Riverton and do the drive through Oh, but this is amazing. And if they're going to Riverton, they don't need to make an appointment. They don't need to make an appointment. You don't need an appointment to come up to our lobby either at LDS Hospital. Just um, come up. You're really going to see me there. Let's <laughs> all hang out there. I've got an eight-year-old, so we'll, the three of us will be there, I feel like. But what I want to know, I'm one of those people that have felt before, like when I get the flu shot, it gives me the flu. I get sick. Why do people think that? Know, that's a misconception, totally. Because the, the flu shot does not have the active ingredients of the flu itself. Um, it's deactivated, and you, you can't get the flu from the flu shot. The most that you should experience is redness and tenderness for a couple of days. Um, anything above that may be a low-grade temperature, 
But all of this is so much better than hugging that porcelain throne for two <laughs> to three days. Well, you heard it from Brandon Vonk. You heard you are not getting the flu from the flu shot. If anything, you are luckily getting protected from it. So be sure to head over to ldshospital.org slash healthy living for more information on this. And again, to get those dates of when you can for free get the flu shot. Thank you so much, Brandon, Thanks, for being Jess. here. Okay, I'm going to get it this year. I'm going to get the flu shot. Uh, do you have yours yet, Bry? I got